This is a video about zero waste gift giving and I hope you're inspired to take this on in your own life and share these ideas with the people you care about and um, yeah and also add some of your comments and suggestions in the comments below. So uh, first off this is something that my mom did you know 40 years ago. This is a box it was a tie box I believe and she got this awesome Escher paper and put it on the, the lid and this box has been circulating around in our family for at least 40 years um, and we have just a box where we have the gift supplies including you know boxes where you can stick stuff in so that that's always available and then because we're always giving to the same people I mean you know in terms of family members and all that we also had a little container of uh, tags that we used over and over again this is one that I made just from a card that someone gave me and then I just have you know to mom from Rebecca and so every time I need to give her a gift, I can just pull this out and give that to her. So that's just a nice way to use, you know, have pretty stuff and then also kind of reuse it. Now, one thing that's become popular lately are these gift bags, which are a great idea. Uh, however, you know, at the end of the year, we often have um, calendars that we're getting rid of. And so this is a really cool thing. I'll put a link below about how you can actually make your own gift bags using calendars. And then this one even has some straps. So these were made by a friend of mine and given to me. So love those. Um, some people make treats, you know, lemon bars or something like that. So I would really recommend instead of putting them in plastic, getting those uh, paper sandwich bags and look for ones that are for certified that are compostable. And so you can also personalize them, send a little message to the people you love on them or not. But just, you know, thinking about, you know, one-time plastic use, because plastic is made from fossil fuels, and it, it takes millions of years to make the raw ingredients, and then we throw the packaging out after we eat the thing. So it's like not necessarily the best use of our resources, and then plastic doesn't biodegrade, and all the plastic, pretty much all the plastic that's on the was ever created on the planet is still on the planet. So thinking about how can we give gifts in a way that honor and celebrate our friends and also care for the planet. Now, my friends, um, most of us are gardeners, so we often give gifts from our garden. So jams and preserves and pickles and things like that. However, if you don't have a garden, some great things that you can do is, these are just ball jars um, and you can get pretty shapes like this, or you can just you know save some of the jars from your other things that you buy, such as uh, nut butters and stuff like that and make some granola so that's a really great thing that can go in these and you know just putting a little string on it and then one of your little gift tags that you made yourself is really just a really sweet way to show something that you care now if you're one of those people that love to have things kind of like hidden so people have a surprise one and you you don't have anything that's going to fit in you know something this side one thing that i do is i make these bags and so these bags here this is made from organic muslin and i did just a applique on it just to make it a little bit more attractive you could also use uh, sheets as you're exiting your sheets and you're needing to get new bedding you can use it from that and it's got a little drawstring so this is actually one year i made these as my gifts and these are actually what i use for my bulk groceries when i go to the grocery store so that's something and you can also just take your jars or whatever you're giving and put it in there so you've got kind of two gifts in one and let's see obviously there's also the tins so if you're having to give stuff in tins don't go out and buy them but you know throughout the year you can look and see if you're going to your local thrift store you know picking up some tins so if you're one of those people that like to give baked goods you know just start collecting them and then at the end of this when you give them to someone you know you can if you know they're gonna not use them afterwards you're like I always tell people like feel free to keep it but if you're not going to use it and you're just going to recycle it you know feel free to give it back to me and i'll use it again and you'll, you'll get refills <laughs> um same thing also with larger items you can also buy baskets once again don't go out and buy something new but if you happen to see some baskets you know at a local thrift store you know buy some so if you know that you're going to be giving gifts at sometime soon you've got something to stick it in um and then just wrapping it with you know a nice piece a nice cloth or something like that so i hope this is helpful and oh yeah how could i forget one thing that you can always do is just give money in term in for a nonprofit or a charity that the person you're giving a gift to in their in their name so 
you know, there's so many, so many nonprofits and charities out there. And I'm sure the people that you care about have some that really resonate with who they are and the values that they share. So that's a great way also to give a gift. And I hope this is helpful. And I hope you share these ideas and strategies with people that you care and have a lovely day and enjoy your celebration, whatever you are celebrating, whether it's a holiday or a birthday or just giving a gift because you care about someone.